Hey, Bills Mafia, welcome to Victory Monday. The Buffalo Bills are 7-3, and three, and this is Chalk Talk episode 14, playing fearless. That's exactly what we looked like yesterday, taking on the Miami Dolphins on the road, 4-1 and one on the road. We look good. Josh Allen, four total touchdowns, three in the air, one to Dawson Knox, two to John Brown, and one rushing, which was fantastic. He took care of this game for us. We've seen, I believe, what we think is a full and complete game against Miami yesterday. You got to play on your schedule. So we beat them pretty good. And they didn't just win by a few. They won 37 to 20. So very happy to see that. Um, it is the best 10 game mark. Seven and three is the record since 1999, the Music City Miracle Year. Second place in our divisions. And the divisions and the wild card kind of look like this. We have the number one New England Patriots in our divisions. We're two games behind them. The number one Baltimore Ravens in their division, eight and two. The Indianapolis Colts are the leader in their division, six and four. And KC, leader in their division, they are six and four as well. The Bills hold down the fifth wild card spot um, and have pretty much have been doing that all year. And the number six is the Houston Texans. So a couple teams that are in the hunt that can make some some noise are Oakland, Pittsburgh, and Tennessee. Oakland having the six and four record fighting for that AFC West division there. Uh, Pittsburgh five and five and Tennessee five and five. The, the rest is there's a little bit of a drop, drop off which they're still in the hunt but this is the closest right now that we're seeing. So you know Oakland's coming on. Oakland doesn't look bad. Josh Jacobs he, he he's good. So you got the Bills locking down the five. Houston at six and then a couple other teams knocking at the door. Um, the Bills are 211 for points four uh, and they're 170 for points against, which is second best in the NFL. Our defense has been continuing it. But we have upped our total a little bit. The Bills' total yards was 424 yesterday. Um, you didn't get your 300 game from Josh Allen, but you didn't need to. You needed it against Philly. You know, you needed it against the Browns maybe, but, you, you know, we didn't need it against the Dolphins, so that was fine. We're 5-2 and two in the conference. We're 3-2 and two at home and 4-1 and one on the road. So I kind of like that road record, you know. Got to up those wins at home, and we'll get them. But uh, at the last five games, we're 3-2. and two. Um, I believe we played fearless yesterday. I, yesterday, I kind of seen the beginning of the year – style of play you know Allen's still running head first he's sliding more but he's still running into tackles and I don't know if he's gonna you know if he just can't slide or, or what it is but I seen a way more fearless style of play from Josh Allen yesterday I loved this press conference I loved how he talked about John Brown um who John Brown was we'll get to he was outstanding for the Bills yesterday and Cole Beasley all, all the way around this team you know I could just keep going but you know we defeated Miami 37 to 20 and Josh Allen's four TDs yesterday makes him 191 out of 317 for completions and attempts um he has 2,175 yards through the air, 13 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, and he's 60.3% in the league. So I think we can all agree that Allen has taken some steps up in his uh, in his sophomore year, second year in the NFL. Uh, running, he has 74 attempts uh, on the year, 331 yards, 4.5 average, 7 TDs. And he does have 6 fumbles, and that's that's concerning. He's got to learn to hold on to that uh, well. But in another touchdown yesterday. Yesterday. Beautiful, nice, nice way to get to the edge and you know juke that player out to make sure he can get enough to the edge. Couldn't be happier with that. John Brown, smoke. He's such a comfortable and relaxing receiver to watch because uh, you know he's pretty much going to catch it if it's if it's there. Um, yesterday he was nine of 137 yards, 15.2 average, 40 was his long, which also was his longest on the season, and he had two TDs yesterday. Um, that makes for 56 receptions this year, 100 or I'm sorry, 817 yards in the air, 14.6 average total, and four TDs on the year, uh, getting those two yesterday. So it was really reliable having him yesterday. Allen was throwing the ball with some fire on it, and um, it made for a very easy and relaxing view viewing yesterday of the game. I feel really good about that. And the Bills are making a force in the league. Um, you know, they're still not talked about as much as we might think, you know, but seven and three, we can kind of understand where we need to work on some stuff. Brian Dable up in the box, bringing that back. Is that why we did so good? I mean, you don't discount an NFL team like Miami. And I know I've been saying it all year. They're an NFL team and probably an easier type style game. But 
uh, we just looked better game plan wise. And Miami made some big plays, you know, the, the, the kick return and the onside kick. So they, they were looking to try to win the game. You know, they weren't they weren't giving anything away here. So Buffalo had to play a full and complete game. And we finally put the foot on the throat there. Uh, we had 34 runs with 33 passes yesterday total. Nice, even balance there. And um, it's now five games that Josh Allen hasn't had an interception. So knock on wood there. What a beautiful job of adjusting. Still got to work on the fumbles, but uh, he ended up doing really good. Seven sacks from eight different players. A couple shared some sacks. Uh, the Bills defense, uh, you know, pretty much locked down that. I think there was 23 yards that they got on the ground total. Excellent to see from the Bills. Um, we're always happy to see that. And I don't know, well, they will be upstairs going forward. You know, seeing a little bit more of the field, seeing where Allen needs to go, you know, coaching him up a little bit more on that. I mean, we're going to find out. Um, we got Von Miller next. We're at New Era Field. We have a good opportunity to go 8-3. and three. And the Buffalo Bills maybe will finally start getting on the map um, league-wide heading into Thanksgiving if we can pull off this win. I'm not just icing over this win against or this, this game against the Denver Broncos. We need to put a full and complete game together just like we do with Miami in order to win this game. What's it going to take? It's been different all year. But if we can see consistent play out of our quarterback, Josh Allen, our receiver, John Brown and Beasley, Singletary, who also made his mark. He had 15 carries um, for 75 yards. 22 was his long. And uh, I think he had one catch for like four yards or, you know, he didn't do much in the, in the air, but he, he He's consistent. He has that big play breakout ability, and, I, and I'm happy to see that out of Singletary. We didn't talk about him much, but he's he's good to have. The, it's good to have that piece in there. And when he fumbles, coach takes him out and he puts Gore in. So you know, luckily, luckily Singletary is uh, is staying healthy and he's looking good for the Bills going forward. New Era Field next week. We got all week to kind of bask in the win, but I know our Bills are going to prepare for Denver. We have to, and then Thanksgiving comes. Guys, if you like the video, subscribe. Don't miss another Chalk Talk.